This is a new discovery concerning what happened to the Mayans. Toxic Maya, archaeologists discover poisonous reservoirs in the ancient city. For decades, scientists have been trying to find out what happened to the ancient Maya. Overpopulation, extended drought, war, environmental degradation, and climate factors cited as potential reasons for the downfall of the Mayan peoples and their culture. A new study may shed light on the collapse of the Mayan civilization. An international team of scientists from Guatemala and the United States has said that the water reservoirs in an ancient Maya city contain toxic chemicals. According to the study, which published June 25th in the journal Nature Scientific Reports, the group consisting of anthropologists, biologists, botanists, and chemists examined layers of sediments in two central reservoirs in Tikal, dating back to the 3rd century BC, and they discovered traces of mercury, phosphate, and cyanobacteria. Their researchers say that toxic chemicals left the water undrinkable even after it was boiled. The pollution of the water reservoirs occurred because of the red pigment that, were, that the ancient Mayans used to adorn their buildings. Color was important in the ancient Maya world, they used it in their murals, they painted their plaster red, they used it in burials and combined it with iron oxide to get different shades, according to what Dr. Kenneth Tankersley, Associate Professor of Anthropology at University of Cincinnati College of Arts and Sciences, explains. According to the researchers, the ancient Maya derived the red pigment from cinnabar minerals composed of mercury sulfide. They say the toxic chemical leaked into the water as it was during rainstorms. The conclusions of the study also suggest that droughts that occurred in the 9th century AD likely contributed to the depopulation and subsequent abandonment of the city. The, conver the conversion of Tikal central reservoirs from life-sustaining to sickness-inducing places would have both practically and symbolically helped to bring about the abandonment of this magnificent city, this according to the University of Cincinnati Professor David Lenz's explanation. So that's it. The mercury and cyanobacteria in their reservoirs was most probably the cause. Please leave your comment. Thank you. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece and Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.